Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm a solutions engineer at Fricata, and this training module will focus on building and viewing grids. Have you ever left your homepage up and after a while you get this page refresh paused screen? That's because this is a site level view of all of your cameras. You can mouse over an individual clip to see the live view, but the rest of the camera feeds are stagnant, updating their thumbnails once a minute. But what if you want to view multiple live feeds at the same time without that pop-up? This is what grids are for. The grids button lives right under the camera button on the left navigation bar and can be used to set up viewing screens for many live camera feeds at once. Note that the grids option is only available when you have selected cameras from the waffle menu of products. When you first click on the grids button, you'll see a grid of all cameras that you have access to. You can scroll through the multiple pages at the bottom and click on any camera to make it full screen. It also defaults to move to the next page every 30 seconds. In the upper right corner, I can click new grid to make a custom view. Making grids are helpful for people who need to see the live view of just a few cameras at once. These are also great to make if you have multiple locations and you need a dedicated viewing area per site. On the right hand side of my screen, I can see all of the cameras in my organization that I have access to. To select cameras, I can click a single camera, I can search for a camera, and I can add an entire site at once. Now at the bottom of my page, I can click through the different pages of cameras that are in my grid. To rearrange the order of the cameras, I simply need to click and drag the camera to the position I want it to be in. For this demonstration, I'm just choosing cameras at random, but a more methodical way to do this would be to group the camera views based on their location, like having one page for exterior cameras, one for the first floor, one for a specific wing in a building, and so on. In the bottom right corner of the grid, there's a settings gear to customize the view further. I can change the number of cameras from four per page all the way to 12 per page. I can also turn the labels on and off and make this public or private. If the grid is public, everyone will be able to see the grid, but note that if a user does not have access to a camera within the grid, they will not be able to see it. I will show an example of this a little bit later. The last thing I can do here is customize how long a page stays before transitioning to the next one. I can turn it off if I want to manually click it to the next page every time, or I can set it using these options between 30 seconds and five minutes. Before I hit done, I'm going to go to the upper left corner and give my grid a name. I'll call this one Ricotta Floor 1. Now I can hit done and view my grid. I can hit the full screen button to take up the entire window to view. And I can also edit the cameras that are displayed on my grid or change the settings at any time. Additionally, I can toggle between my grids using this drop down in the top left corner. If I go to Lisa's grid, I can see that there are cameras that I do not have access to, as well as a camera that is offline within my grid. Lastly, let's say that you want to make your grid your default view so that rather than pulling up to your site homepage, you log in and you see your grid. To do this, I'm going to navigate to my personal account settings by clicking on the organization button in the bottom left corner. Then I will click on account settings underneath my email. Now I can select my default homepage, which could also be an alternate product line, but in this case, it will be grids. Now when I go home and refresh my page, I can see the grid appear when I load command. The last thing I will mention is Vercada's official viewing station, the VX52. This is hardware that plugs into your viewing device to be able to view up to 30 camera feeds at once. It also has smart tiles that populate with analytics, such as showing the camera feed with the most motion, showing profiles when someone unlocks a door, and displaying your environmental sensor data. The great thing about the VX52 is that it connects to your local network and will continue functioning as normal even if the internet goes down. Between grids and the viewing station, Vercada has got you covered for all of your surveillance needs. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to visit help.ricotta.com to view our many knowledge-based articles and know that our 24-7 support team is always available for further help and questions.